which is um, connecting with um, with Skype meetings app, but Alexander sold them all. So hi, Danica, hi everybody. Hi, Alexander Celeski, Dejan, Krishimir, Maida, Marina, uh, Marina, uh, Matea, Peter, Ramazan, Tony, and Jiva. How are you doing today? Uh, you can't see me because I have uh, disconnected my camera today. Uh, because we don't have uh, that great uh, internet connection right now due to heavy uh, rains and storms. That's why I disconnected the camera so uh, it stays more focused on the voice and on the, the PowerPoint presentation. Okay, Danita, did I answer your question? I hope so. So today there are uh, approximately 11 students um, and um, today's webinar uh, is um, meant for you to ask uh, questions that you have regarding the fourth and fifth assignments that you will be preparing in Teams this time. Uh, the Teams are still um, in the process of being created because some of the students uh, were behind the schedule. Some of them asked for postponing the um, the assignments of the first week uh, or we're moving around China or traveling or I don't know there are so many different um, delays or reasons for delay that um, it doesn't matter to um, um, to number them all but I hope that now in the second week of September you are already in your um, position on your positions starting um, being creative and starting being um, all professional or not only at work but also with your studies. Peter says that uh, he can't see or hear anything. Uh, okay, Alexander is on to the issue. So I hope um, this problem will be solved uh, very soon and quickly. Okay, uh, for starters, I have prepared, because I saw that you all enjoyed it, these three different types of uh, questions or quizzes or um, whatever we want to call them, tests, let's say, about your personality. And here is another one. Uh, there is another one. It's uh, quite simple. Uh, please do not think about it. Just uh, choose whatever your instincts or your uh, intuition or whatever you want to call it says. So would you, uh, and write it down, please. Write it down, your choice, not into the chat, but on the piece of paper or uh, in the notebook or whatever you have with you, or you can open a Word document and write it down there. So would you prefer yellow to purple or vice versa? Would you prefer uh, nothing or uh, zigzag? Would you prefer triangle to a circle or would you prefer red color to blue color? Have you written your choices? Have you written your choices? Let me, yeah, okay. So um, as uh, this is global market and we are talking about seizing the opportunity, uh, I will now give the opportunity to two students uh, among, your, among you uh, who will have the possibility to get explained um, whatever the results are. So only two, the first two that will um, raise the hand, let's say, who will write it down, I want to do it. The first two, only two. Is there anybody who wants to know uh, what the results mean? So the first one is Kreshimir and the second one is Jiva. So these are the first and the second and that's it. Kreshimir, you have yellow then you have a zigzag, then you have a triangle, and then you have blue. Oh, as you can see, you are a, a boss, <laughs> which is not surprising uh, because um, we are talking about uh, being leaders, being managers, being uh, uh, in position of management, being the first or on the top. But this boss means that you really like um, people to tell what they have to do, how they have to do it, uh, whether to um, choose the left or the right path. So you are actually a born um, born person to be on the position number one, uh, which is quite good in teams if you, of course, pay attention to other people's needs. Uh, so I don't know how you work in your uh, professional life or um, is, if it, that's correct or if it points back at you or not, but please be careful about um, 
because you are you you really as you 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 we can all see that you were the first one to raise hand what you want to do right so um yeah so you are very fast you're quick you're you make your decisions very fast uh, be careful that you don't hurt other people in your team uh, by making these decisions really 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 fast but that's a good thing because whenever a decision has to be made, you are there for for others and they can depend on you. So that's a good thing. It's always a good and so it's yin yang. It's never all, all things good and never all things bad. Uh, things bad. So the other one uh, who who um, volunteered was Jiva, and Jiva is yellow, and nothing, uh, triangle and blue. Uh, you are a sorter. That means that you um, you always uh, look at big picture, and then you uh, take some pieces of, um, let's say, pieces of information or pieces of uh, processes or pieces of, of different people or different tests, different uh, activities, and then you sort them out. So what goes into this column? What goes in? I don't mean it um, literally. Yeah, I don't mean it literally. Um, sorter, yeah, it's it's a good thing uh, though to have you in a team because you always can sort important things from unimportant ones, and that's a good, really good characteristics. Um, what is uh, what you have to be um, careful about is that you don't um, stop um, at sorting out, yeah, that you, that you don't stop uh, when you do some sorting. Then you have to make a next move. Then you have to make a next step. So don't stop just by sorting things or activities or people and tasks out, but then make and make next step. So go further. Don't stop there. Don't wait for somebody to tell you what else you have to do. Okay? Be careful about it. Yeah. Well, um, Ziva, it's my pleasure. You're welcome. Uh, Maeda and Marina, I'm very sorry we said only two. That's a global market, it's global opportunities. And if you are fast enough and quick enough, then you can have this opportunity. If not, there, there goes a the lesson. There you miss an opportunity. So be careful what goes around, what what um, opens the door, which window is open, and then you enter. You have to be quick. You can make a mistake, and so what? We've learned from Jose that we have to make failures, that we have to have fear, but we need to overcome it. We need to learn from that. And here's the lesson number, I don't know which number, let's say number 222. Um, if there is an opportunity, don't wait up for others how they will react. Seize the day. Okay, carpe diem. Okay, so this was just like an ice breaking because I saw that you really enjoyed your tests and I enjoyed reading your explanations and analysis. And it, it was actually quite a um, um, positive uh, feeling for me to see how many of you would really like to start a business, whether a social entrepreneur, uh, uh, entrepreneurship or uh, plain and simple, profitable um, organization or whatever. It it means that we can really depend on um, on generations that are coming after ours. Uh, what I mean by that is that uh, we are all children. My generations, 40 plus, are uh, children of uh, socialism, and we. Um, we didn't know a thing about uh, what it means to be entrepreneur, what it means to have an idea, what it means to develop this idea, what it means to um, to go through uh, with it, uh, what obstacles can come. We had our um, school, we had our faculties, and then we knew that we're going to get a job. And that was it, plain and simple. No profit, no problems. Okay, now I'm simplifying, but okay, you get a picture, right? And now next when we are we, when we are like 30 and there were crises and 35 is still crisis and 40 is still crisis and 45 is still crisis and we live in constant stress and in constant um, flow from going from one crisis to another and it is quite an adventure if you take a look at it like that but if you uh, stick with your mindset that's why it was good for those who took the test if you are a 
uh, what kind of a mindset you are. So if you want to learn your whole life or not, if you are open to new opportunities or not, in which direction it takes you. This is very important because now we talk about the uh, society of knowledge. Now we talk about uh, education that is going to last our whole life. We talk about that, that we will have at least seven different profession and at least 13 different jobs within our lifetime. So imagine how many opportunities these are, how many and how, how beautiful that can be. And no fear, if we lose, then we lose. So what? We go further and far and yeah, we discover new, new things. Okay. In this, our second week, um, we will talk, you will talk, not among yourselves in teams, and you will talk, discuss, write, but you will prepare two different assignments. Uh, I hope you will find them challenging enough um, and that you will be uh, more, uh, even more, even more creative than you were in the first week, because uh, this business canvas and can be a bit dull. I get it. Can be a bit. Um, you could get more excited about it. Uh, I'm not sure what went wrong with it. Only few, really few uh, assignments were excellent. I don't know if the time, there was a lack of time or there was lack of information. We even, not we, but Jose even agreed to, um, to form a special Facebook group where you could get additional information. I saw that some of you really seized this opportunity and you did look at the, those two videos that um, Jose made just for you. And this Facebook group will then clo be closed after uh, week two of our program, of our course. So um, I really expected a bit more creativity from you, uh, more daring, let's say, more adventurous, more uh, curious. But perhaps the timing was, not, was bad because we all came from our vacations and a lot uh, was to, do, to be done uh, at our work and uh, some of you really moved um, uh, around or finished your master degrees, thesis, etc., etc. So this two week, the second week should be a bit of a challenge for you all, which I hope you will really um, take by the bull's eyes so that you will grab it and show me that um, what I saw in Ohrid, actually, where I saw uh, a lot of uh, young students, a lot of people really bursting from uh, uh, wish to learn more, to know more, to be part of change in this world. So I really want to wake this up, this feeling uh, again within you. And I want to see uh, your assignments uh, after the week two that will uh, amaze me, that will um, take my breath. Okay? Okay? Can we do that? Can you do that? Please say yes. If you are still here, of course. Yeah. Okay. That's great. That is just great. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Krishmir, I rely on that. Of course, Jiva, I know you will. So um, in this, we have approximately uh, 23 minutes left before this webinar um, uh, is over and concluded. So I explained a bit about the week two already and about the assignment that you will have in the on our first webinar. Uh, I would like just to show you uh, this TED talk. It's really uh, worth watching and I hope this will now function somehow. I will share my screen. Hopefully this will work. Yep. Uh, good. And let me know that the world today is full of problems. We've been hearing them today and yesterday and, and every day for decades. Serious problems. Please let me know if you can problems. see and hear the TED talk. Or nutrition. Access to water, climate change, deforestation, lack of skills, insecurity, not enough food, not enough health care, pollution. There's problem after problem. And I think what really separates this time from any time I can remember in, in my brief time on Earth is the awareness of these problems. We're all very aware. Why are we having so much trouble dealing with these problems? 
That's the question I've been struggling with. Coming from my very different perspective, I'm not a social problem guy. I'm a guy that works with business, helps business make money. God forbid. So how do we, why are we having so much problem with these social problems? And really, is there any role for business? And if so, what is that role? I think that in order to address that question, we have to step back and think about how we've understood and pondered both the problems and the solutions to these great social challenges that we face. No, I'm sorry, I have to, um, I see I have to drop files again, just a second. It disappeared somehow. <clears throat> it's going to take just a second. Yes. So, uh, Mike Reporter is really an excellent guy. Uh, you can watch some more stuff from him if you enjoy, if you will enjoy um, his let's say, his, uh, his talk, his TED talk. And what I would like you um, to prepare is not a simple uh, essay or simple uh, question, answer, question, answer, work or assignment. It's, it's um, I really would like to get you to think critically and um, to creativ creativity um, develop your um, critical thought. Right? So don't just put these questions and then write the answers. These questions are just guidelines, how to structure your seminar work, uh, like um, with which aspects do you agree of this TED talk and what isn't uh, in accordance with your mindset at all. Um, what or how or who is uh, the problem of this world that we live in, in the 21st century? Uh, what kind of problems and issues uh, do we face? And what kind of the problems can be solved by business, if any at all? Uh, what is the role of uh, business in the modern world, etc., etc.? These are some questions that I put just to give you an example or to give you a picture or how this uh, seminar work can be addressed. Of course, you can write it differently if you would like to, if you like to. That means that if you um, perceive uh, the, the content of uh, Mr. Porter's speech in any other way, you can describe that as well. You can uh, discuss it with me. You can debate among each other. You can put arguments. You can um, you can present different points of views. You don't have to agree on one, only one solution to this or only one answer to these questions. Is that um, somehow understood? Or do you know what I would like to get from you in this assignment? Because I would really like all of us to get on the same uh, on the same base, on the same level, so that we start from the same base ground. Um, uh, an answer from you would help me go further. So please share your thoughts with me. It's not a difficult TED talk, it's really not. And the literature that you have is also not a difficult one. It's there uh, only to help you understand or to develop different views on the same sub subject, on the same topic, yeah? So um, do not limit yourself to the literature that I have put in the guidelines for you. You can pick whatever you want. I was very impressed and um, I really loved it. One of you uh, cited uh, Ichak Adizhesh. Uh, I think he's one of the greatest minds of the 21st century in the field of management. I think he's uh, like, um, follow up from uh, Peter Drucker or Peter Drucker uh, he was uh, he come he came from Austria actually and now we have to think about each academic is really hard 
Yes, Jiva, thank you very much. Um, so we have to think very hard uh, about Ichak right now because he's in Mexico waiting to have his, um, I think, liver uh, transplant. And if he doesn't get an honor, donor, he will die. And this is really a bad, really a loss for, for management science and for all, all humanity. But okay, now I'm moving a bit further. So what I wanted to say is you don't have to talk only about Porter and his words. You can choose whatever you want. Uh, you can pick your favorite manager, guru in, okay, let's say guru, all right? You can choose whomever you want and you can explain um, your point of view on the problems of the 21st century and what business can do about it, what you can do about it. You will all, most of you will develop uh, your own business, whether to be profit or non-profitable. That's okay. But I would like to see how you perceive the world, how you look at the issues, how you look at the problems, right? I want to hear your um, thinking, your solutions, your reasoning, right? But you have to put some, let's say, arguments uh, in it, some, uh, I don't know, some stuff that will um, back you up with your... So somebody said it and you can cite it. Or you can just say, this is my mind and I will not uh, step away from this mindset because I think this is the only right solution. And then you have to persuade the other nine members in your team as well, right? This is a, uh, don't just say a, a person A or student A, right answer to first question, student B, right answer to the second question. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, uh, this is my... This is my daughter calling. Oh, sorry. I apologize for that. Uh, so don't just don't just answer, uh, uh, let's say student A, you answer the first question and student B, you answer the second question and student C, you answer the third question. Don't do your assignment like this. Please discuss and debate about it, okay? Uh, discuss the questions, discuss the answers, discuss different points of view, because I will see, I will see if you uh, have prepared your work like that and it will not be coherent. And that's a too bad, it's a pity. So don't do that, please. Yeah, right? Um, assemble together on a Skype meet or whatever meet you can organize. It can be a messenger meet or, or um, uh, Snapchat meet. I don't care. It doesn't matter. The platform is irrelevant. If the group, Danita asked a very interesting question. What if the group has different points of view? This is excellent. This is amazing. This is just great. Write all them all down. And then at the end, write who persuaded the other ones, who had the most arguments, who was the most plausible one, who was, um, who had the most um, com um, compelling answers. So at the end in the business, you all have to meet one uh, solution. You all have to make one um, uh, so you have to, to, to come to one decision, right? Uh, you can't say we will conquer Chinese and France and Austria and Slovenia and Macedonia and Egypt all at once. You have to prioritize. Okay, and this is how it works here as well. You can say we agree that there are four different uh, issues or whatever you will disagree about, but the most important we think is this and this and this and then followed by this and on the third place is this and this because, right? You have to find an agreement, uh, basically uh, what is the most important thing that you would like to do or what is the most influential thing. So it's a good thing that group will have different points of view. I hope it will, because then you will have to discuss it. Yes, and I would really appreciate it if uh, different if students don't write uh, student A question one, student B question two, student uh, C question three, etc., etc., etc. Yeah. So, oh my God, I really don't like that. I get all nervous and I hyped, and you don't want to see me like that. Really don't. <laughs> no, I'm a bit joking, but I mean, I mean business. I really mean business. I'm serious about it. Uh, please do your teamwork as a team. 
not as a group, right? I will see, and I will. Um, I'm pretty strict about grading. I I don't give tens and twenties and thirties depending on how many points uh, you can get. I'm strict, and I'm. I really support people that uh, give the best from themselves what they can, because this is why business can thrive. If um, if you give only 50% of what you can, your business will not thrive either. And this is let's take a, this assignment as a preparation for entering the market with your business idea. So you wanna succeed, right? You wanna make it work. So. Please make it work also with your assignment number four and number five. Uh, you can get 20% for this assignment. Yeah. And for the fifth assignment, assignment you can get 20% as well. One of the students already wrote to me uh, about this assignment, telling me that he already has this, uh, had this book and he was doing by this book throughout his uh, studying years and uh, uh, exams as um, in his profession, and that it really works. So perhaps some of you already know uh, our ultimate book of mind maps. Perhaps it's going to be something new, and um, I would like you to play with it. You can be playful, you can be joyful, you can be curious, and demonstrate to me and to your colleagues um, how. It, how the problem of the case fair and square, you had it, uh, you, you read it already, most of you read it already in the first week, um, how it can be solved differently. Now you have your minds open, now you have, uh, you have different uh, perspectives, now you have different possibilities and different um, objectives and different uh, issues that you, you can discuss about. Uh, it's interesting that most of you agreed um, not knowingly, of course, but while writing uh, your opinion about uh, the, this short summary that you had to write, uh, to write as a third assignment, most of you agreed that the approach of this new CEO was not uh, okay for this type of business. So now I'm curious how you could um, uh, and will and should uh, solve the problem that um, Fair and Square uh, faced. Okay, so you will do that as a mind map so that you learn how to do it, that you learn from others in your themes, teams as well, and that you find different solutions through mind mapping and through uh, idea creation. This, I think this is, uh, this is going to be fun for you, uh, the previous assignment and this one, because it's not boring per se, it's actually demanding and it's, um, it's something that it's appealing to this new generation, as far as I can tell, at least I hope so. So now I'm open to your questions. Uh, perhaps uh, you had already chance to look at the assignments. Perhaps there are some questions that have arisen uh, through uh, your work. Uh, perhaps you want to discuss something with me. Uh, now is the right time to do so. Um, please, be curious. As I said in the previous, in the first webinar, not in the second, but in the first, there is no wrong question. And assumption is the mother of all fuck-ups. These are two mantras that I um, continuously repeat throughout my webinars and throughout my workshops and throughout my uh, coachings and throughout everything that I do, even with my children um, or my husband or with me. Yeah. So, okay, questions. Dear attendees, Maida and Marina, why, why is Maida and Marina, are you together or, or how is it that you both are um, under one? Maida and, Mar and Marina asked, it's quite challenging what they wrote. Is it okay to write a, uh, assignment number four as a say or as a new TED talk? Uh, you can do whatever you want to do. You can shoot a video if you would like to. You can make uh, um, infographics uh, through six different pages. You can go um, on the street explaining the problems that you have to solve and then um, make a poll and then uh, survey and uh, 
whatever you want to do, be creative and be innovative. This is all about it is. It's creative business uh, instincts. So be creative. You don't have to be basic, right? Because uh, we kind of uh, overgrown that. But yeah, you can write essay and or you can write a TED talk. Um, I'm open to all uh, unusual um, formats or forms. Thank you for the question. This one is really good. Perhaps next question. Is there any other question? I, I'm sure there will be questions, but now you have me here. Please take advantage of it. <laughs> Make a use of it. I will try to turn uh, to turn on the video. No, so that at least at the end we can wave at each other because we see each other for the last time now. The third week will be up to Yelena. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's working. Hey, it's working. Now you can see me and now you can, can't see me anymore. What happened? Um, can you see me? I hope you can. If not, I was here for. Oh, yeah. Here I am. Hi. Hey. So, um, are there any other questions? Oh, well, one explanation, one more explanation uh, that I would really like you to know about is uh, if you are not satisfied with the number of uh, uh, points that you have received for the first or the second assignment, and it uh, goes also for the fourth and the fifth that you were not, uh, have not presented yet, you can um, update it or upgrade your assignment and um, Submit it once again through this platform, LMS, that you have. Um, yeah, uh, I will get back to that, Ramazan, uh, in the second. So if you would like to improve uh, or make your work better, your assignments better, I encourage you to do so. I like your endeavors, so please do so. Yeah, so you don't have to ask me that. If you would like to write something else or prepare something else for the first week, you can do so uh, till the end of this course, of course. And then that's, that's it. You will get into another and then you will you won't have enough time to do other work uh, as good as you can otherwise. Ramazan asked, can we mention about politics problems rather than social? I'm sorry, uh, this is off the table actually. If we get into politics, we will not be over until the 22nd century. So um, I'd prefer if you stick to social problems because there are so many social problems. And I don't mean only poor versus rich. There are there are there is huge variety of social problems that we face. And um, please, Ramazan, if it's not too hard for you, I'd prefer if you if we all stayed with the social issues okay now jiva is typing a message we will wait a bit for jiva uh, jiva is uh, jiva wrote is there a possibility to see other students assignments or maybe just the best ones yes i always uh, send out um, in all my courses i send out the best or the best some examples let's say not not necessarily the best but perhaps the best structured or the best uh, part of uh, some part of the assignment is so uh, thrilling that I want to share it with you. Uh, but at the end of the course, why at the end? Because some of you have asked me to postpone your deadlines, or some of you will prepare everything individually, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I would really like everybody to submit their work, and then at the end, I always send approximately five, six different. Um, uh, different um, assignments of different uh, of different students to all of you so that you can learn from that as well because i believe in sharing not sharing is caring but i believe in sharing this is uh, in sharing economy in circular economy um, more into i love profit i like money who doesn't but what what we do with that is uh, is that question that i would like you to discuss uh, as that talk in your assignment number five uh, four Okay? Yeah, it's correct. Any other question? Yes, Danica. Oh, Danica wrote, okay. Jiva wrote, yes, of course. 
uh, Danica wrote, great. Is, are there any other suggestions or questions or um, motions or pleas or whatever? Problems that you face? Um, uh, what else? Disappointments that you share or uh, crisis that you have at, um, with your work? I mean, work here in this course. We can't solve all the problems of the whole world, but something we can. If not, if not, as you probably have noticed, I'm pretty quick in um, e-communication. So if you have questions that will arise uh, due, uh, through your time preparing um, the assignments, you can always come back at me or Mina asking additional questions. But please, please, if you face IT challenges, like I don't know how to um, put my work onto LMS platform, or um, I don't know if I submitted the work or not, please contact Alexander Delchevsky. He is here for you. And he is, I don't know if he uh, speak, uh, if he sleeps at all, because whenever I write him in five minutes, I get his answer. And sometimes this is even in the middle of night. So I really hope that after this course, Alexander, you will have some time uh, on off so that you will get your energy back. Yes. Um, so IT support is, is just great. Yeah. Okay, so if something with the problems with LMS, please write to IT, IT guy, somebody, some of you ask me who that is, this is Alexander, so you can write to him. If you have issues with your teams or how, who wants to be with whom, etc., etc., or somebody is not working, somebody doesn't um, participate within a team, please contact Mina. Mina is also great, you know her already, you had, uh, she was your, um, mentor in previous courses, if I'm not mistaken. And then if you have questions about the content of the assignment, of the form of the assignment, hey, it's, it's me, it's on me. Contact me, ask me. So we are on time. We have like um, three and a half minutes more, but I don't want to prolong that. If you don't have any other questions, I would call you today. And I really look forward to your assignment number five, four and five, especially number five, as you can see. Uh, why? Because um, now I will get the chance to see how creative, how innovative you are. And I would um, most definitely like to see uh, how you will uh, find a different solution and how you will um, communicate among each other, how you will choose which one is Hmm, more suitable, I'd say, more suitable than the others, and how many solutions you will find. This is going to be quite exciting. Thank you so much for being with me. Um, be positive, stay positive, uh, be uh, curious, question a lot, uh, doubt a lot, because this is uh, progressive, this is what makes you grow, this is what makes you go further. And at the end of the day, uh, be satisfied with what you did. Otherwise, you will be unsatisfied all your life. And uh, I hate that. Thank you very much. Have a pleasant evening. Um, stay tuned. Bye.